Yo, what's going on Leaf Nation? It's Leafer back again and welcome back to Monopoly Hut number 5 and today we are just going to keep it going, you know? Last episode we did go 2-0 in Division 9. Uh, we made no upgrades last episode sadly, but this episode we are hoping for some big upgrades to the team because we know games are going to get harder. So you guys know the drill, before we head into a game we have to go and roll the dice and see what we land on. Let's get it. Alright guys, first roll of the episode. Let's see what we get and we get a 6. Alright guys, so a 6 is a pack line. So let me explain to you guys what a pack line is because I don't think I've ever rolled on it on any of these episodes. So what I have to do is go ahead and open up a premium pack. Whatever players I pull in a premium pack, I have to throw on a line and play with them for that game. Um, now... The rules, like, do I have to make them the first line, second line? I'm not too sure. We will cross that bridge when we get to it. But here we go. We're hoping for some good players in this pack because they are going to be on a line for us in this Div 9 game. So here we go. Oh, please. Okay, Philip Deneau, that's a good center. He's actually probably an upgrade to the team, at least to the fourth line. So that's good. We just need a left winger or a right winger now or another forward. Um, okay, Ho Hodgman, he might have to play with Philip Deneau. That is a downgrade to whatever we have right now. Um, and then a John Dickinson. Okay, so hopefully we get a better silver or gold play here. We do. We get a Max Gortz. We'll take that. Uh, okay, defenseman that we will not use. And okay, a Riley Sheehan. So that is very good for the pack line. So the line is going to be looking like Sheehan, uh, Dano, and probably Hodgman. So three centers, right? No, okay. Yeah, three centers on one line. Um, yeah, let's throw them on the team and see what line they'll be taking off. I think it makes the most sense just to get rid <clears throat> of our fourth line. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to see who has the best faceoff ratings in terms of the three guys. And then uh, put that guy on center. So just give me a second here. Alright, honestly guys, all things considered, we got pretty lucky with this line. I mean, the, the left wing is a uh, downgrade, but Sheehan and Dano is pretty good. We got lucky in terms of handedness. This guy's a righty. And uh, she hands a lefty, which is huge for the offhand one-timers. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we're going to head into a game. If you guys want me to change the rule for the pack line, like they have to be the first line, we can definitely do that. Um, but for this game, we're going to make them the fourth line. And uh, we'll go uh, with what you guys say for the next time we land on it. All right, guys, just a little refresher. We have the chance to win a Division 9 title today. We are one point off of winning the title. So an overtime loss would work, but we obviously want to win to keep the perfect record alive in the series. So without further ado, let's hop into game one and hopefully get the dub. All right, guys, first game of the episode, and we are looking for a win. Like I said earlier, we win this game. We win the Division 9 title. Let's do it right here, right now. Here we go, boys. Ooh, he's got a good team. Malkin, who's that on the draw? I think that's... Thought that was Ronick. It's definitely not Ronick, but he's got a good team. Shea Weber, Theodore, Malkin's definitely got to be one of his best players. So just shut him down. Okay, Rob Brindamore as well. Let's go, Kane. Here we go. We're gonna get this to Kessel. There. I forget that passes don't get through. Good chop, Kempe. There we go. Beautiful pass. Now we get that across. Monahan. There we go. He was having a rough start to the game. We fed him the puck, and he put it into the back of the net. That's all that matters. Let's go. This guy loves to go for his hits. To Kessel. There we go. Fill the thrill. Continuing his point streak with the team. Make that 2 nothing. Another power play goal. Let's go. This guy's got a good team, so we are taking advantage of when he steps up, and he's taking these dumb penalties because we're going to need it later on in the game. There we go. Anthony, see you. Charlie Coyle with a beautiful spin take it it's a good take i don't think that pass was gonna get through so i didn't want to just force it and lose the puck at the end of one we were up to nothing we're i'm feeling good we're playing good if we keep this up we should be good for the rest of the game uh i would like one more goal i think one more goal and he leaves yo kempe here we go we get this across monahan what a save by holpe oh here we go two on one wow that was not even the greatest shot ever that was a weak one to let in by Hellbuck, and he's right back into this game. Not a fan of that goal. Big block. Anthony see has gone. Later. Let's go. Anthony see you. There we go. He used to control this goalie, which was just idiotic in my opinion. 
We're back up by two. Let's go. The pack line is back out for like its third or fourth shift of the game, maybe. And then Owen's a draw. Uh oh, bad turnover. Uh oh, bad turnover. Yeah, this this pack line sucks. Across. There it is. Adrian Kempe. His hook card has been so good for us this series so far, too. We're back up by two. Now we gotta play tight defensively. No more stupid goals are being allowed. Mark my words. Expected that, but it works out in the end. Here it is. There we go. The patience from me. Getting it across to Anthony CU. Make that 5 2. Let's see if he's Gonzo Alonso. He is indeed not Gonzo Alonso. You hate to see it. A bit of a more sloppy period on my end, but we still come out on top with a three goal lead. One more period to go. I can smell that Div 9 title. Here we go, Carlson. Good move. We get this across somehow. Let's go. Adrian Kempe potting another one in. Second of the game. Up 6-2. to two. Let's go. Let's go, Kessel. You get through that. Let's go. Phil's going to score. Oh, okay. Uh, Kane stopped it on the goal line and then pushed it back in. We'll take it. Make that 7-2. to two. All right, guys. Just like that, we get a 7-2 to two win, meaning we get the Div 9 title. Make that 5-0 and no in this division, making us 9-0 all-time playing uh, Ultimate Team right now. We got a bunch of objectives completed, which is uh, a bunch of coins. Looking at the stats, we did dominate him. Uh, but we do have a Div 9 pack to go open, and we have some objectives to go claim, so let's go do that. So here are our objectives. Just about 600 coins into the bank account, which is very nice, making us just over 17,000 coins. We really do not want to hit bankrupt, by the way. And now we have our Div 9 reward pack. I doubt there'll be anything in here. Four items. Maybe there's something that upgrades the team. I highly doubt it, though, so let's see. Yeah, we had a 65 overall, a contract, two contracts, and a 75 right winger, which will not make the team. But we're now starting... Our next game in Div 8, but before we go do that, it is time to go roll the dice. All right, guys, like I said, it's time to head back to the board. We are on the pack line spot, so we're going to roll again and see what we get, and we get a 9. All right, guys, so a 9 is open up one premium pack. So again, go in another episode with only opening up two packs, which is rough, but you know what? It makes it more of a challenge for us, and I'm sure it's more interesting seeing me struggle with a harder team. So here we go. Hopefully something big to upgrade the team here. Give me that team of the week Matthews that is out, okay? We got a Wayne Simpson here. A contract. These guys are not going to be making the team. We got a healing card. Okay. Adam Henrique. Okay. Okay. He will definitely make the team. He might get rid of Philip Deneau already, who just had his debut. But we will take Adam Henrique. An Alex Kerfoot. He could definitely make the team. A speedy left winger. Okay, that works. Uh, he could actually play center too. 85 faceoffs, not bad. And we got two more cards left. Okay, so not a bad pack. Kerfoot and Henrique. Let's see where these guys fit onto the team. All right, so just like that, we got rid of the pack line. We put Cole Schneider in, and Philip Deneau is already out. Adam Henrique replaces him on the fourth line. This is going to be a great card to use. 84 faceoffs, a speedy center with a very good shot. And then we got Kerfoot on the right side of him. Um, you know, so not a bad upgrade, making our team look a little better. Nevertheless, let's head into our first game of Division 8. All right, second game of the episode, first one in Div 8. We are looking to get our first one in Div 8 and hopefully get Kessler to continue his point streak. Here we go. We've got Miko Ranton and Daryl Sittler, so he does have a good team. We are up for a good game. Take that, Anthony. See you. That goes in. That goes in. No way, dude. It just sat on the line. You hate to see it. Let's go, Kane. Take that. Let's go. Oh my, how do you miss the net from that close? Can I ask? 6.6 .6 seconds. Let's get something here. He's going to try to tie me up. Yeah. To Kessel. Phil. Oh, Phil, if you hit the net, buddy. That could have been the goal. At the end of one, if we're, at, we're not at zero. I do feel like I'm playing better. So if we keep it up, hopefully we can pull one past Bob. But if he's going to be impossible to beat this game, I can tell already. Take that, Phil. Oh, my goodness. Kane, you stay with this. Because it's going across and we're scoring with Anthony. See you. one nothing. We beat Bob. Huge goals from the kid. Let's go. Good move. That gets... Oh, my... The computer tie-ups. You love it, man. A guaranteed goal was just taken away because his AI luckily knows how to play hockey more better than him. Monaghan. There we go. 3 nothing. 2 nothing. I mean. My bad. Sean Monaghan takes it himself. <sighs> Let's go. Big hit by Phil. Kerfoot. 
in the debut. Tries a one-handed tuck. You gotta rate it. Here we go. Get that across. Oh my great defensive play. Henry close to potting in his first of the series. Now that's more like it. We felt way better that period. We ended up getting two pass Bob. That's huge. Now let's just hold on to this two-goal lead and not choke. Let's go, Phil. You have it. Phil, get that across. And Phil's point streak continues. Phil Kessel, an absolute beast. Make that 3 nothing. A big three-goal lead against this guy. That's huge. Let's go. Phil Kessel, man. His huck card. We're going to take a look at his stats after this game. He is so good. There you go. Big one-handed tuck. And that's it. What just happened? Okay. Uh, it went straight to the replay, which is kind of funny. A big one-handed tuck. Make that 4 nothing. Let's go. Just Okay, I may have screened Hellbuck there. 4-1 right after my goal. It's all good though. Still have a three-goal lead, but we still have to be, uh, you know, smart defensively. Oh, brother. All right, there it is. Our first win in Div 8. Confirmation of the two points. Um, more objectives completed, which is nice too. We did play better, which, I mean, we did deserve the game. Look at the time on attack. So, I mean, a big 4-2 win. Great way to start off Div 8. So let's go collect the objectives, that's 300 coins in the bag, we'll make it 200 when we go buy something from the auction house. Win online games, make it 1000 coins, so we're up to 19,000 coins, which is absolutely huge. I also quickly want to go check Phil Kessel's stats, because he's absolutely been insane. So here they are, 5 games played, 7 points, he's a plus 5, absolute great player, 4 goals, 3 assists, you love it. I want to see what Kempe's looking like too, because I've been loving his card. Uh, eight games played, that is nine points, so that's pretty good. And then Carlson has seven points in six games played. So these three guys have been playing amazing, and I couldn't ask for a better start to Monopoly Hut. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this Monopoly Hut video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the Leaf for Nation. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!